Welcome to this week's video. Uh, if you don't know, Ireland's in the midst of a heat wave and it's very, very hot. Absolutely loving it. I love the warm weather. It gives me an excuse to stay outside later. <laughs> This place is absolutely unreal. Why did we come to the woods this week? Everybody else is at the beach and you can hide in the shade. I did a video about the start of 2020 before lockdown based on like planning to make for better content. Basically planning your videos out a lot better and, and ways that you can improve that. Going from the planning making for better content video. I, there's no reason that shouldn't cross over to your life. So what I ended up getting was a, a big desk calendar. Big desk calendar, can write everything into it for each day, maybe five or six tasks that I want to get done that day. And I've been using highlighters to track my progress, to make sure that I am doing what I want to be doing rather than just the Great in principle. Problem is when I leave and go to Donegal or go somewhere else in the country, I can't carry that thing with me and there's things I still need to do on a day-to-day -day basis that were just getting not forgot about but like pushed off to a few days whenever I could have just done them even while I was away. So fast forward to end of June 2020, Peter McKinnon uploads a video um, talking about doing something for 30 days. I realised watching that video that I had a load of these little notebooks <laughs> lying around and I wasn't using them and they're like little temporary small notebooks that just fit in my pocket, no bigger than my wallet. And I thought, well, why not give this a try? Um, so what I've been doing for July is trying to organize my life and my photography life. Every day I write about five things that I want to accomplish in that day into the notebook. Yeah, I thought I would make a video on the pros and cons of this thing and what I've been doing and how I've been getting on with it. I was already in a routine, so let's just talk about what the pros were of having something like this. You know, first off, for me, routine. Every evening I was getting into the habit of sitting down and going, right, what do I want to do tomorrow? And putting it into the notebook. Just all I was doing was five tasks. Brilliant for that sort of thing, keeping yourself into a routine. I found it great for exercise and that sort of thing as well, because like one of the little tasks in there that I've been doing is it's not just for work, it's just to keep me straight and narrow, I suppose. The next thing is, is it really helps with goal setting. So I find that like if I have like, rather than doing like a huge goal in the end, you know, like I want to make a million euros, it's like finding the little steps that you can take <laughs> towards that. So great with that goal setting. It's like breaking down your goals from like these huge big things that seem impossible into something that's a lot more bite size and easy to digest. You know, you're tracking your progress so you can see exactly where you were from the start of the month to the end of the month. Now I've only been doing this through July and we're not at quite at the end of the month. And my main goal on it is, is I want to get like a streak of 30 days where I've done everything on my list for 30 days consecutively. Now the most I've done in July, and that's just me getting used to it, is eight. <laughs> so we're a bit off there, but we'll get to there in the end anyway. There are cons. Um, sometimes it can take away like the spontaneity of your day. So when you start your day and you just want to be like, okay, what am I going to do today? What can I just take away and just go and do all this? And, you know, whilst that's how I like to live my life, <laughs> um, it isn't always the best for productivity and that, and that sort of thing. So, but I, I understand that like sometimes the best things come out of just being like, ah, let's just go to the beach today. Let's, you know, we'll do X, Y and Z. So it can add a little pressure to my days sometimes that I, you know, uh, that I don't necessarily like in my life. I like to be chill. I like, you know, being relaxed and not having... Uh, any stress on me. <laughs> Anybody that knows me will know that I'm not a very stressful person. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the, like li literally only two things that I said with this, like it takes, it takes away the spontaneity and, and adds a little bit of pressure to my days. But even at that, what I've done to counteract those two cons um, is I've just limited it. I've just said, right, I'm only doing five things. That's all I want to do. I want to get five things done each day. As long as I have those five done, I'm fine. So it's a great thing is that I can get up early in the morning and do all five before I even start work or I can do the opposite and you know leave it to the end of the day. I 
at this awesome little house. Don't know what it's called. In the middle of the woods. It's dilapidated. It's falling apart. It looks cool as fuck for photographs. So if you want to see some of those shots, go to my Instagram feed, Owen underscore Bell, or my website, because there's stuff on there and I keep updating it recently as well. So it's OwenBell.com. Both will be linked below anyway. Um, and again, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I know it was short and sweet, but if you did enjoy it, do let me know with giving a thumbs up on there as well as subscribing to the channel because I'm going to be making more videos like that, obviously. Um, yeah, and thanks very much for watching and have a good one, guys. Goodbye.